Well, are you a little nervous these days, Kristen? Because I think there's a young man who might be out after your job. Yeah, it looks like he might be out. Maybe he, maybe his dad. Take a look at this picture. I know it's a little bit late to be talking about Halloween, but I just got this picture and I had to show it. I think this might be my favorite costume yet. Uh, check out Maddox, the little boy there on the right. He was a weather map. For Halloween, and his dad, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I think he's supposed to be storm clouds in that spring coming down. Well, dad needs to work on his costume a little. Yeah, just a <laughs> little, but I thought it was very cute. So uh, thanks for sending that in, uh, that from the Robinson family. And the weather was great for Halloween. It's been great so far this week, and we continue to see uh, the nice conditions across the state of New Mexico. Take a look at the numbers. Very mild out there right now. Uh, 62 in Santa Fe, 59 right now in Albuquerque, and already knocking on 70 degrees degrees down in the southeastern corner of the state. Of course, the winds have picked up a little bit across the eastern plains, and uh, this is a look at the wind speeds, mainly out of the northeast and east at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and we are seeing those winds occasionally gusting higher than that. Uh, as of this hour, gusting up near 30 miles per hour over near Clayton, Tucumcari, Clovis. Uh, across the western part of the state, winds are fairly light here, so again, we will continue to see breezy conditions across the eastern half of the state, but those should start to taper off a little bit tonight. High pressure continues to be the main player in our weather. Back to our west, they're keeping the skies nice and clear across much of the western U.S., and it's going to continue to do so, keeping our conditions nice and mild and keeping those skies nice and sunny as we head through Wednesday or the rest of today, Thursday, Friday, even going into the weekend. We will continue to see that high pressure system like slowly sink to the south, and that's going to bring us into more of a westerly flow as we head into Saturday. And so we could see the winds pick up a little bit across the entire state, becoming a little bit breezy, and we also could see a few more clouds around. But we're not going to be seeing much in the way of rain. In fact, our rain chances are going to be slim to none as we head through the weekend. Our next chance for any showers, perhaps uh, some snow up in the northern mountains, won't come until the early part of next week. But even that looks like a slim shot. So we will continue to keep. Keep a close eye on the weather pattern, but for now, just enjoy the pleasant weather that's around. A uh, 65 in Durango today, 66 in Farmington, then down to the freezing mark tonight, down into the upper 20s and low 30s. More mild weather through the rest of the week with highs in the 60s to near 70 degrees in Farmington. Your forecast for the southwest shows plenty of sunshine, nice and mild too, with highs in the 70s there. And down the southeast on the breezy side with temperatures today climbing into the upper 60s and low 70s. Here's your extended forecast for Roswell. It gets a lot warmer as we head into the weekend near 80 degrees on Sunday. And then we're looking at highs in the 80s as we head into Tuesday. For the northeast, mostly sunny, breezy here with highs in the low to mid 60s. And over in the northern mountains, plenty of sunshine, a little cool over in Red River and Angel Fire where highs there were only climbing into the low to mid 50s. Santa Fe looking at more dry weather and nice conditions with highs in the low to mid 60s for the next uh, seven days really. Uh, over in the East Mountains, plenty of sunshine, nice and mild with highs in the middle and upper 60s. And for the metro area, another gorgeous day with plenty of sunshine, highs in the upper 60s and low 70s and more nice weather to come. We'll continue to see those highs in the mid 60s to even near 70 degrees as we head into the weekend. Of course, we have that clock on there. Don't forget to change those back one hour as we go into Sunday. Okay, thank you, Kristen.